All right. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever in the world you might be, welcome. Uh, it's great to be part of this uh, this global test flicks phenomenon once again. Thank you for tuning in. I hope it's been uh, a really good conference so far. My name is James. For those of you who don't know me, um, I am a quality practice lead here at, in, uh, in Auckland, New Zealand at a company called Fergus. And I want to tell you a story today. It's a story about a conversation I had with a friend of mine. This is me on your right, and this is my friend. Now, just for a bit of context, my friend uh, was a graduate, a junior tester, looking for his first testing role, and he'd just been for an interview. And he came to me after the interview and said, I just had a job interview, and it went terribly. Bummer, dude. What went wrong? And this turned out to be a, a trigger question because he broke down into tears. He said, I don't know SQL. And this led to a whole thing of, I'm never going to get a job as a tester because I don't know SQL. This is horrible. Which doesn't really make sense to me. They'd asked him in the interview, you know, what SQL skills do you have? And he said he didn't have any. He said he didn't know. Which was a really strange answer to me because... I knew this person. I knew he could do SQL. I'd seen him do it before. So I asked him, you know, why Why would you say that? I've seen you write SQL queries. It's, it's not fair to say no. And he gave me a really interesting answer. He said, well, yeah, you've seen me, you know, do select statements and insert statements, but I don't know how to join two tables together and I don't know how to create indexes and I don't know how to do any of that complex uh, stuff behind the scenes that makes SQL go. I'm not an expert, so it's not fair of me to say I can't do C I can I can do SQL. Of course this made me really angry, right? He'd selected himself out of a job by saying he couldn't do something that I think he could. Here's what I mean. He knows how to do select statements and insert statements. Those are a big part of SQL. You know, I've been testing for 17 years and I've had to do, there's been times when I've had to do quite a bit of SQL stuff. Most of it is that. Some of it is, you know, there's, there's more complex stuff that comes into it, but 70%, I would say at least, is knowing how to write a good select query. Not only that, this is a role for a junior tester. I don't think there's any organization out there that would expect you to be any sort of expert in any technology as a junior. That expertise comes with time and work experience. Um, knowing the selects and the inserts, you know, that's, that's enough for me for a junior role. Furthermore, Lots of engineers don't know the hard stuff, right? Unless they're doing it day to day, they know the basics and then they just Google the rest. And that's really, really common for, for senior engineers to, to Google even some of the syntax for some things. It's really common for me to hear testers early in their career talking this way. I need to become an expert. I need to become an expert. I can't do this until, you know... Um, I have the expertise. So they end up in what I call tutorial hell. They do tutorial after tutorial after tutorial on a technology. And that only gets you so far. The, the kind of the irony is that they're doing tutorials to get a job, but actually the valuable experience is going to be after they get the job. That doesn't mean tutorials are not valuable, but... Uh, there comes a point when you need to actually um, embrace what skills you have and accept the fact that you know you're going to be learning stuff on the job too. No one expects you to be an expert before you have the job. I, I see this happening a little bit. It happened to me recently again with someone who you know said they need to become a Java expert because before they could do automation. Again, I don't think that's true. So. I just have a little list of do's and don'ts that I think will be useful, especially um, for, for juniors or for people who are looking for their, their uh, entry point into testing. 
don't wait until you're an expert. You don't need to be an expert in some technology uh, to, to get your break into testing. You need to know the basics for sure, but the basics are enough. Don't be afraid to not know everything either. You, you know, my friend in his interview said he didn't know SQL. The right answer would have been, I know some SQL. I know how to do selects and inserts, but not more than that. And that probably would have been a good enough answer in that context. It's okay to not know everything. And in fact, more and more, in the interviews, your interviewer is looking for you to say that you don't know. Because candidates that know everything or pretend to know everything are less desirable. <laughs> do you value the skills that you have? Right? Take stock. Be proud of what you do know. Because even something like, oh, I can just do select statements and insert statements is more than a lot of people. Right? And that's valuable. Do Google the answers and, and do be honest about it. There's not an organization out there, probably, <laughs> that won't let you use Google on the job, right? It's important. And everybody does it. Everybody does it. And do keep learning, right? I, I don't want you to come away from this thinking tutorials are bad. Tutorials are useful and they have their place. And you should learn stuff from them. But they're not going to be the only source of information. They're not only going to get you so far. Keep learning in other ways as well. So I hope that's useful. Especially for anyone who's in that, that sort of situation that I can speak to at the moment. Uh, thank you. I hope this has been interesting. If you like this sort of content, I have a newsletter that comes out every two weeks as well called Pi Mail. Please subscribe. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can find me on Twitter or, or LinkedIn as well. If you have any questions, enjoy the rest of the conference. See you later.